Okay, lunch time. Let's do this. Let's do this. He can lunch. All right. Uh. Who are Who are I, you going I, for anyway? Have you decided? Miranda, but it would oh, block it with oh, black luge. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate me? Uh, I've been trying so hard. Who is this? I don't uh, know. It's the pack. You get I, if you go there. I don't. I've never encountered this before. You puff yourself up, hoping to look as big and tough as sporty as possible as you take your seat next to the wolf pack. Who wants to be the wolf pack? Hey! Oh, go ahead. Hey! You! You know what it means that you took a seat at the wolf pack table? <laughs> well, it probably means that you don't care that much about defining which love interest you're pursuing. And or that table was already taken. <laughs> and or you don't want Blue to be mad at you forever. <laughs> It means you're one of us! One of us! One of us! One of us! Don't get us wrong. The second lunch is over. We 100% go back to hating you because you're weak and not on our level, bruh. But for now, you might as well enjoy living your best werewolf life to the max! <laughs> Sometimes we like to stick with just the classic. Blankly hating all other monsters, but other days we like to be aggressively inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> and you caught us on an aggressively inclusive day! Yeah, bro! <laughs> so, what classic werewolf activity would you like to do in these brief, glorious moments in which you get to be part of the team? Hmm. Correcting their spelling of team probably isn't a classic werewolf activity. Better go with something more like howling at the moon, or practicing <laughs> Ikebana while the ancient Japanese art of floral arrangements just super wolfy. Uh, I don't know what those. I want to pick you. that, but I don't think that would like do it, something it, good. It's for a it? it's a stat boost either way. So okay, well the, the question yeah. is what stat it's gonna boost. I'm pretty sure it's creativity. Probably. Hell yeah! It's like you're in our minds already. Thank you for seeing that being part of the wolf pack is more than just playing sports, hitting the gym, and being total douche bros! That's really lovely. <laughs> don't, don't get us wrong, those are still three central pillars of the wolf pack life. We're just also super into Ikebana. Yep. You and the wolf pack slam dunk the rest of your respective lunches into the trash can and head outside. To do some serious fucking flower picking and subsequent arranging. <laughs> bro! Bro! Look at the arrangement! Mixing the azalea with the Delilah is dope! <laughs> Whoa, dude! Daisies and daffodils? Extreme! <laughs> yeah! And don't forget putting your tie at 70 degrees, bro! Don't be an icky bonnet noob! <laughs> Man, you guys with these sick bouquets! We're gonna be d drowning in pansies and peonies and pussy! Yeah! Wow, lovely. You did it. Well, <laughs> leave it to the wolf pack to somehow turn floral arrangements into crude sexual remarks. That was, yep. But hey, your flowers look and you gain plus four creativity. Holy Are fuck. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Plus four? Um, sure. Yeah, that was, that was great for my boys. <laughs> if, you, if you give up points with your chosen person, you get a bunch of stats. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Wow. That's a lot of stats. Dang. Listen, Brian, you can totally sit with us. I just hope you didn't bring a gun to a bazooka fight. Oh, I remember oh, this it's, one. It's the yeah. alcohol challenge. Yeah, we're showing off our best flasks. Well, not the best flask, flask exactly, but the best content. Brian. Um, oh, right. Good God. Yeah. Our actual flask, our literal actual flask of alcohol openly allowed in this school cafeteria? Are there no rules? Apparently not, because Polly starts setting a series of flasks down at the pool. Okay, so this is beer, my WC wine, whiskey, ethyl alcohol, the soul of an infant. Ha! Weak. This is radioactive absinthe. 
this is fire, and this is literal poor life choices. Okay, but this one has another smaller flask inside it. It is the ultimate flask. They could probably go on with this for goddamn ever. Maybe you can cut in with the craziest thing of all. Think carefully about whom you want to impress with your flask. I mean, we know which one is which, because yeah. we've done this before. Oh, yep. Uh, Polly! Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah! Let's rage! I've always wanted to make ultra whiskey, but I could never, could not get my whiskey bottles to fuck. Wow. I tried everything. Mood lighting, sultry music, chainsaws, you know, all that cliche romantic stuff. But it seemed nigh impossible to get them to make sweet whiskey love. I almost started to think inanimate objects can't have sex, but I've had tons of sex with inanimate objects, so that was just silly. If you can't make whiskey ex whis whiskey turn into ultra whiskey, you should definitely apply that principle all over the place. Two cars to make a limousine, an orgy of iPhones to become the iPhone triple X, the most advanced update possible, duh. A microwave and a Russian novel to get a pair of designer shoes. Can't wait to create doper stuff than the world can even handle, probably. Well, the world probably doesn't need to worry about handling it, because there's no way you can pull that insanity off. But yay for plans with Polly! Got oh, let's you, Rock! Go. Welcome back for 18 months in a row! That's so many months, but I'm gonna date Vera and make her love me forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Vera is about to lift a glass of scotch to her immaculately painted lips. You can drink whatever at the school, apparently. When Miranda screams, Stop! Don't drink that! Why not? This scotch costs more than most cars. Has your taster tried it yet? What taster? You don't have a taster? What if your drink is poisoned by someone jealous of your good looks and royal title? Listen, Miri, I only drink four things. Scotch, red wine, the tears of my enemies, and straight-up poison. You drink poison on this? Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? Well, well, you should still have a taster. What if someone puts really spicy hot sauce in your... Or, or poison? Ugh. <sighs> What do I have to do to get you to drop this? Simple. Hire a taster. Fine. Any volunteers? This might just be the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand, and when Vera picks you, you... Uh... Drink all her scotch in raising Vera. Sure. I mean, this is really easy. <laughs> Terrify Miranda and amuse Vera. Obviously. Obviously. You shoot Vera a wink, take the tiniest sip of her scotch, and then... No! No! Stop vomiting! How will you be able to taste for poison if you're too busy foaming at the mouth and vomiting? Oh, I vomited in front of Vera. You fool. She is poisoned. Run and tell the authorities before this poor sap's face melts off or something. Oh dear. Oh my. I'm no good in crisis situations. Curse my uniformly pleasant childhood. Miranda faints with the utmost drama. If there's one thing princesses are good at, it's fainting. <laughs> that was hilarious. I should put poison in my scotch more often. You can stop vomiting now, by the way. She passed out. Oh, do you need the antidote? All right, here you go. I guess I should have let you know the scotch was actually poisoned. Oh, well. How about we get ice cream to make up for it? No, ice cream is also poison! <laughs> Why? I mean, you need that extra kick. Your stomach's still too weak for ice cream, but you're never too sick to spend some quality time with Vera. Yeah! Hmm. I don't care about any of these losers, so I'll buy something. Give me your money. Give me your money. Wait, I wonder if any of these are fun. I think the glasses might be fun, or the... Yeah, the glasses are a fun boost. <laughs> Catch you later. Mm. Wow, your fun is at 14. You're so fun. <laughs> How 
I'm so third broke. again. Fuck. Fuck. D all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small, magical Latino cat. You start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mysterious the mystery of the Goblin King. Wow. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say you were the Goblin King was, 100 people or so burst into, the, into, uh, into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. Noise. Is that like weird Monsters, Inc. stuff? On your way out, you spot Polly still wearing the lab coat she stole from that human party the other night. She takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Hi! Hi! Yo, yo, yo! That human party convinced me I want to be a scientist, but not just any kind. A party scientist. What's a party scientist, you ask? Why, just a scientist who's dedicated to discovering the secret to the raddest party. <sighs> Through a series of extremely scientific experiments, I aim to discover what exactly makes a party good. So I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it. Or, you know, just have really dope parties all the time. Anyway, I'm going to a bar mitzvah tonight, and I need your scientific advice. What can we do to push this party over the edge? Uh... Uh, one of I think the chemistry one is probably smarts, right? And I'm so I'm guessing electric slide is probably fun. Probably fun because it's a dance. If you're well, it might be 45, I don't know. It's fun. Yeah, fun. Yeah. Later that night. Oh, look at him dance! I don't know why I never thought of this before. It's just basic science. Lightning gives life to a Frankenstein. A Frankenstein is stitched together is a stitched together mass mass of sexy flailing limbs, which is also what a party is. Lightning is the life of the party. Duh. What's that? You want to know who the bar mitzvah boy is? I don't know. I don't know any of these kids. <laughs> Crashing bar mitzvahs, the height of the party culture. You have so much oh fun my you God. forget to tell Polly she should have said Frankenstein's monster. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. You have eighteen. So much fun. Let's do this. Holy shit, though. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym. Whoa! I've never seen that drawing oh. before. It's so good. So good. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. The match is so intense, and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes. By betting part of your charm against part of the other team leader, team's leader's charm. That commitment amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a bit less fabulous. Perfect. You notice Liam and Miranda talking to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying Jim for a change. Something must be terribly wrong. You go over to see what it is. Youth is a gift! <laughs> oh, we haven't done this guy yet? No. We haven't coach yet, no. Inferno Droid's done like two people, so you have to do it, Fnord. Um, okay. Well now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the... But allowing you to make up your own sport seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Oh, but... Ordinary sports are ever so dull and unrefined. I'm sure we two could do much better. Have we done Liam yet? I don't think we have. I well, then I'll be Liam. Okay. I've already got an idea, actually. I've had an idea for a sport since before there were even sports. I call it art. No teams, no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. Art. Brilliant. We will play it with watercolors and sequins, and there shall be a sports bard and a goalie laureate, and... It's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say... 
Art doesn't really <laughs> sound like a sport. Why, it doesn't have the word ball in anywhere in it. That's easily solved. We'll call it art ball. Oh, well, yes, obviously that's much better. Let me ask you. How do you score points in art ball, huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other, totally stumped. Their dream hangs in the balance. Time to step in. Obviously, the sports bar assigns inspiration kicks to the metaphysical linebacker who scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book, or don't you see the points were inside of us all along? I feel like uh, your smarts is number one, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, creative. Creative. Oh. But that was still good enough. <laughs> oh, there's a rule book. Well, that changes everything. I see it. You hand him in the rule book, which is actually just a copy of Infinite Jest that you made a new cover for. Nice. Hmm. This rule book is pretty unconventional, but you know what they say. Sometimes it takes a crooked snake to make the corn cob dance. I don't think they say that. That's not a That's thing. That's new. Oh, yes, definitely. I hear them say that all the time. So, can we start putting a team together? Oh, yes, sure. Whatever gets you kids fired up is fine by me. Huzzah! Yeah. You're able to secure the broadcast rights for Varsity Art Ball, and you make bank. You gain plus two money and plus one creativity. You did it! Hey, let's go! I'm so proud! Okay, so class right now is where the cat is. My smarts are 10. My charm is 6, but I can't do charm, so I guess money. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs managing your start kicker. You deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain plus 10,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you only keep 2 money. You see Miranda, Vera, and Polly gathered around a t table covered in books. Could they be studying? No way. I hereby call this meeting of the boss ass bitches to order. I've gathered all prior school yearbooks so we can have a clear list of everyone we're better than. Always the same with you. Whoa! Yeah. Coven! Who wants to be the coven? Whoa! I'll do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I mean, you can. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Whoa! What a great use of your time! Who said that? Ha, oh, great. It's the coven. What are you three doing here? Um, studying, because this is a library at a school. Casp! Spies! Villains impersonating us! What? What? Don't you see, Vera? These three are... Obviously, our evil twins. The middle one is mean and bossy, <laughs> like you. What are you talking about, Polly? We go to class with you. You would know if you three didn't spend all your time doing stupid and mostly illegal stuff. I won't fall for your tricks, evil Vera. Are you implying the original Vera isn't kind of evil herself? And look, Vera! The one on the right has glasses, just like Polly. I'd need these to see. And see, she has dark skin. She's clearly dark Polly. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Whoa, Polly, just no. Same, Vera, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Bitches is only one letter away from witches. Good lord. Say, would you three mind studying somewhere else? You're upsetting my minions. Never! Good grades are the backbone of a bright future. We need all this knowledge to save the world from the big bad. Oh boy. If you don't figure out a way to get the coven out of here, you might have to break up a brawl. Any ideas? Whip out your roosters? Witches hate roosters. Chop up all the study tables with a big axe. I don't know. I feel like, I guess, roost. I'm gonna whip out my cock. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! No! Get that filthy cock away from us! Yeah! Run! Good thinking. Witches are repelled by the rooster as it's a symbol of the dawn. 
No, roosters are just mean, and we don't want to catch any diseases. Fine, we're leaving. Oh, oh dang, I'm it's, so glad. It's Jesus. even more proof that there are evil twins. See, I love cocks and pussies. Thanks, even Polly. Just don't Thank want you dick for pics. that. Thank you. I too love animals. As we say in my kingdom, the chicken is the tuna of the land. Okay. All right, they're gone. You can put your cock away. Oh, you did use him quite skillfully. Vera, be impressed. She's so impressed. She lets you sit in on the first meeting of the boss ass bitches. You all throw so much shade. Your rooster decides it's nighttime and goes to sleep. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Um, sure. Um, she. Sure. Yay, Vera loves <gasps> me. Nothing I want to do is left. Um, That's one of the hard parts about the four player game, I think. Yeah. The two player game, it was pretty easy, but four players. So and, little left, yeah. by the last. Um. Guess I'll go f boldness. Creativity will be my dump stat. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Holly seems really excited about trying to reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you. And the only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies. You need to get some money. Yeah, I know. He has more than I do. <laughs> Which would be fine, except you have no idea what any of them are. Luckily, you've got a few spare minutes to try and figure this out. You do a quick search on your phone, because you assume the internet must know something about this as long as it's related to very weird sex fetishes. Hmm, nothing. Wait, really? While trying other keywords, you spot the coven looking over at your phone. Always the same what? with you. Could it possibly be that they know something about the reverse Romanian Wilkinson? Mm. No. They're always bitching so much about saving the world, they would never admit they're into these kinds of very weird sex fetishes. Maybe you're not searching hard enough on the net. Or maybe you're letting your prejudices blind you. There's not much more time to lose here. The solution is clear. Okay. Uh, let's see. You're tackling online searching in a very short-sighted way. You need to come up with unexpected search terms that will point you in the right direction. That seems like probably... smarts. Yeah. And then the other one seems like charm, which you're tied at. So you could probably do either. Yeah. Yeah, I will use my people skills to get the witches to admit they know what a first Romanian Wilkinson is. Yeah, I was right. It was charm. You use your refined persuasion skills with Coven, which include techniques such as repeating tell me what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> okay, okay. We might know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. But we know because of saving the world. Obviously. So you'll need a penguin mask? A bag of marbles, and a kilo of guacamole. We're sure Valerie was selling a penguin mask the other day. I wonder how much it is. Ten dollars. Oh, Don't no. think we have a kilo of guac for you. What kind of pervs do you think we are? Hmm, we totally have a bag of marbles, though. How about you keep the marbles and we never mention this again, okay? Okay, bye. You're never gonna get it. You're not gonna get the reverse Romanian Wilkinson. That's ten dollars of a ton. You have five. You couldn't even yeah, get it if I you went to the. Enough. I mean, you if you went to the Bitcoin place or the library for the both. I think there's two more turns. Or is there um, only one? Well, there's two. Two. There's morning and night week. So you might so have two more turns, four. and then you might still be able to get, like, a plus money on something? Yeah. I mean, it's possible, but then you also have to go nice. to the, the shop, so... Yeah, exactly. So I don't think it's actually like, possible. Nicely done. In the end, it turned out to be exactly like that old toy commercial jingle. Marbles, marbles, you never have enough. They're perfect for booby traps or super weird sex stuff. 
Huh, these marbles smell funny, though. Maybe they're already used? Ew. <laughs> At first you feel like that's not okay, but then again, you're about to get into some really kinky stuff, so who are you to judge? Gross. Your mind is is opened and your excitement grows. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. That weekend. Oh, right, weekend can give you some stuff. Hey! Ooh, Wait. Let's do this! Oh, okay. well, let's do this! It's the weekend, and you know what that means. Time to party down. Which is why it's sort of confusing that Polly seems to have brought you to a nursing home with a bunch of old people milling around. This is not at all what I was expecting from a birth from a birthday party for tequila. Polly, what are you talking about? It's a party for sen senior tea. Everyone knows senior tea is street <laughs> street slang for tequila. <laughs> no, Polly, it's a senior tea party. <laughs> Hey, friends, what are you doing here? Uh, I was looking to get trashed, but now that's not gonna happen unless I can steal enough cough drops. Scott, what are you doing here? Oh, I never miss a senior tea party. They're the best. Nothing fuels sports muscles, tiny cucumber, and cream cheese sandwiches, and old people always have cool stories to tell. Uh, this is so boring. I feel like I'm gonna come back to life just so I can die of boredom, which is how I died the first time, too. She keeps saying that she died in a bunch of ways, but I don't think that any of them are true. Uh, reincarnation. <laughs> oh man, we certainly don't want that. Time to ring up your craziest, funniest friend to turn this party from a sleepy soiree into a hella lit rager none of you will ever forget. Who bought the the glasses that are fun glasses? I did. <laughs> Except for all the senior citizens, because they're old and probably bad at remembering things, but a party you and your friends will never forget. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he's definitely got the... One second. Know, bro, Brian? Who, who is it that needs the, the money? Brian. Yeah, but I would... I would you might get I, money from fail. this, though. No, because you still have a lot of fun. I know, but I you've got like think 13. She probably needs to pick the one that's higher. Yeah, Inferno's got I'm like guessing. low I don't know how fun. I've got I mean, no, I've got 18. Yeah, I can't yeah, see the super fun, high. So. Yeah, I just thought you had to like pick someone whose fun was over a certain number. But if it's like picking someone who's more fun, then it's definitely Inferno. If it's if it's like the other stat checks, I think you have to pick the higher one. Oh, okay, well, then it's definitely. Inferno. I'm going. I'm going with Inferno because Inferno once had a ranger so crazy. Police had to send cops mounted on horseback, and that was just Inferno going over taxes with his accountant. So fun! <laughs> you call Inferno, and he walks in before the phone call is even finished. <laughs> wow, do you live, like, super close, or have you just gotten super good at teleporting? Aw, oh, shit! Screams a little old lady. <laughs> Inferno is here! Turned down for what? <laughs> An ancient man in a wheelchair throws a light switch, and the overhead lights go from fluorescent to flashing bright primary colors as the disco ball drops from the ceiling. What the hell, though? Oh yeah! Inferno always drops by just in time to celebrate senior tea. An elderly woman reaches into a cupboard <laughs> and pulls out an enormous bottle of tequila. So Polly was right! I knew it! <laughs> Scott, why didn't you say anything before? Oh, I was just confused. I thought you said you were bored, but the senior senior tea party before the senior tea party is super, super fun. So then I assumed you said I'm a board. So I was trying to figure out if you were a skateboard or a surfboard, a cheese board. Ugh, forget I asked. Anyway, all the old people are really impressed that you know Inferno personally and have his phone number and your potential love interests are Really impressed that you impressed the old people. Why, though? It was a great day of fun, tea, and <laughs> senior tea. You're drunk, but also feeling fancy and sophisticated, and have gained plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Hi, Viajero. How are you? All right. Let me go. Let me go. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, seconds. Okay. Wow. I kept, I kept getting... You, yeah, you keep getting fourth, don't you? It's not very good random die. 